Hi friends, uh, welcome to JMK Tutorials. In this video, yeah, I hope it is a fourth question in the series. Okay, I'm not mentioned properly. I think question numbers. Okay, anyway, no problem. Let's move on to the question. The question is, uh, I think uh, I don't want to represent. Just for simplicity, it is a problem. I will mention like a problem. P, P is nothing but a problem. So it is nothing but dimension that it is a four cross one max. It's a four cross one max. So it is a I naught is equal to C bar D bar. So so these are the something it connected to the A B is nothing but where this is nothing but a selection lines. Selection lines. Okay. So what is the function? So what is the Boolean expression or what is the function realized by the Boolean function realized by the corresponding multiplexer? So that is a question, right? So for that purpose, uh, the for that purpose, let us see here. First of all, what is meant? First uh, simplicity point of I naught is equal to. So it is actually bubbled AND gate. Bubble and gate. That is nothing but I naught is equal to C bar into D bar. Well, just I have to mention here I naught is equal to C bar into D bar. At the same time, I1 is equal to what is I1 value? I1 is directly connected to D, therefore I1 is equal to D. You have to remember here. At the same time, same time, I2 is equal to C D is connected to the X nor gate, therefore A X nor C X nor of D, right? So I2 is equal to C X nor of D. At the same time I3 is equal to XR connected, therefore I3 is equal to XR of that one, okay? I3 is equal to C XR of D. So these are the possible combination, these are the input values. So multiplexer is also called as data selector. Why it is data selector? Based on the selection line. Based on the selection line, it selects the any one of the input, any one of the possible input based on the corresponding values of selection lines. So for, for that purpose, let us see here the function f is equal to function f is equal to First, I naught is selected whenever A bar B bar is selected. A bar B bar at that time it selects I naught. I naught is equal here C bar D bar. Okay, fine. Next, in the same time, just instead of plus, I have to represent a direct click here. So plus uh, I one is selected. So this uh, we have a four possible combinations. Zero, zero, one. Pause. So just I have to represent with another color. So selection line possibility combination 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are the possible. So for 0, 0 case, it selects I1. For 0, 1 case, that is nothing but A bar B case, it selects I1. That is nothing but B. At the same time, for third case, A B bar, at that time it selects A B bar into C X nor of D. In the fourth case, one one case that is nothing but a b into c x r of d so this is a possible combination for the multiplexer output now you have to expansion for this case uh, if you are expanding this uh, what is the value here uh, here f is equal to a b bar plus c bar d bar plus so whatever the missing letter that can be represented as C plus C bar. So C plus C bar is equal to 1. C plus C bar is equal to, obviously it is equal to 1. So we don't have any problem with this one. It is multiplied with D. Okay. So that is also can D and the third one. This one is equal to plus, plus, I will represent here, A bar B, sorry, A B bar. A B bar. So C X R of so that is not the C D plus C bar D bar. So last one is nothing but A B plus C bar D 
plus d bar c. This is the last expression. So from this expression, you have to identify the corresponding possible combinations. What are the possible combinations? So just I will write simplicity here. First one is nothing but a bar, b bar, c bar. That value represents a zero. Just I will represent it in this case. That value represents a zero plus. That represents a min term of zero. Second thing, a bar b c d. So I will represent it here. So instead of that one, I have to represent this another one more time. So that is nothing but that is nothing but a bar b bar. C bar. So just I will represent in the vertical direction. That is easy for also. So that is a one way. A. So from this A bar B C D. A bar B C D. Okay. A bar B C D. Next A bar B C bar D bar. A bar B C bar D. Next A bar B C bar D. A bar B C bar D. This is the one more possible thing, right? So next one, A B bar C D. A B bar, A B bar C D. Next, A B bar C bar D bar. Okay. Next one, next one. So it is over. This is also over. Next. A B so it is nothing but A B C bar D A B C bar D A B A B C bar D A B C bar D last one is nothing but A B C D bar A B A B C D bar so these are the min terms produced by the corresponding multiplexer now i have to represent the equivalent for this case okay so this is nothing but c bar d bar only so equivalent values for this one a bar b bar c bar. so there is nothing but obviously that is represents a 0 0 0 okay 4 in course right 0 0 0 okay So zero zero zero. So that is nothing but here zero one one one. So it is nothing but zero one zero one. So it represents one zero one one. It represents one triple zero. It represents one one zero one. It represents. Triple one zero. These are the possible combinations for the corresponding values. Now, if you represent the equivalent for this one in terms of min terms point of view, summation, summation. First one is nothing but zero comma zero comma. What is the lowest value from this zero one double zero? It is nothing but a five. It is nothing but a seven. It is nothing but one zero. It is nothing but a eleven, so it is nothing but a eight double one zero. That is nothing but thirteen. So triple one zero. That is nothing but fourteen. These are the possible combination. These are the these are the corresponding equivalent values for this case. Therefore, the complete min term for this one is nothing but the function related to the corresponding min terms. So that is nothing but. Zero. Next value is value five, seven, eight, eight. Then eight, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. So this is the min terms for the corresponding function f of a b c d. Okay. So this is the solution for this one. Okay. So then we they, they mentioned that some options is also there. That is nothing but option A is equal to summation min terms zero five seven eight eleven thirteen fourteen. Option B is nothing but summation zero one two four five. Option C is nothing but Option C is nothing but summation. So sorry, option C I don't want to give. Take my this one. So third one option is nothing but none. So this is a I will consider only three option. 
So from this uh, consideration, the right answer is nothing but option A is the right answer as per our analysis. Okay. So that is the problem given by the corresponding multiplexer. Sorry, the solution for the corresponding given multiplexer. So this is a one-way solution for this one. So there is a another method for the corresponding solution. This is also one more method. Another method. Another method for this case. So in this method, you have to represent the corresponding selection lines A bar B bar A bar B A B bar A B bar plus A B. At the same time, particularly you have to mention C bar D bar C bar D. C D bar C D. Okay. Now you have to mention the values like this. Zero. This is a combination. Zero, one, two, three. So this is a sequence. Four, five, six, seven. It is a very easy. You can do uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So from zero to 15 means so obviously 16 possible combinations. Okay. Now in this case, what is the first one? I1 value. I1 value is I1 is nothing but C bar D. So where is the possible C bar D? So so that is nothing but zero. The possible combination is nothing but first one is nothing but a C bar D bar. So that is nothing but C bar D B or is existing here only. So you have to mark this one like this. At the same time, second one is nothing but only D. Second option I1 is equal to D. So I1 is D is only possible which case? So and the five and the seven case only. Okay. So these are the two cases. Five and seven. So the com the common value is only D. Okay. You have to select it like this. At the same time, third one is nothing but XR. I2 is nothing but C D. So XR XR of C D. So X bar is nothing but C D C bar D. There is nothing but eighth and eleventh are the possible for formation of the X bar gate. At the same time, I three is nothing but X bar gate. X bar gate is nothing but C bar D C D bar. Therefore, thirteenth and fourteenth are the possible combinations. Thirteenth and fourteenth are the possible. So this is the one of the simplest method you can find the corresponding Boolean expression. So from this expression. Min terms are the what are the possible min terms from this? In the first case only zero. In the second case five comma seven, and the third one is nothing but eight comma eleven. And the fourth row, fourth column, thirteen and fourteen are the just within a fraction of minutes you can find the solution for these kind of the problems, right? So I hope this video is very helpful for you guys. Thank you for watching GMK Tutorials. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot.